Your Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta, on behalf of my president, President Salva Kir Mayadid, allow me to recognize with respect presidents present today and vice presidents and delegates from various countries. Mr. President, the people of Kenya, when the sad news of the death of our beloved leader, Mwai Kibaki, came, my president was on a foreign trip. He decided to cut short his trip and return back in honor of President Mwai Kibaki. And as we speak, the Republic of South Sudan is bereaved and the, the flag of the Republic of South Sudan is running at half mask. <laughs> Mr. President, the people of Kenya, when President Mwai Kibaki took over from Daniel Arab Moy, he ensured that the peace process that led to the signing of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement in, 20, in 2005 secured the right of self-determination for the people of South Sudan. It is through the right of self-determination that today you see our first president of the independent free republic of South Sudan. We can say with confidence that we owe President Mwai Baki special gratitude for giving us the freedom and the independence we enjoy today. <laughs> Mr. President, we are aware also that President Moiki Baki ensured that our cadres were trained here in Kenya, in the Kenya School of Government, and took some of us to uh, Mombasa for training. And so he's a dear man to our heart. And we know that all the leaders of Kenya have always been supportive of us as the people of Kenya from one generation to another. We owe this to you, the people of Kenya, for electing capable leaders of the region. My president appreciates the relationship between us and Kenya, and it is through this relationship that we are here today to share with the people of Kenya the gravity of the shock that has come as the result of the passing on of President Mwai Baki. With these few remarks on behalf of my president, I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity and may God bless you and raise the soul of Mwai Baki in internal peace. I thank you.